हरे कृष्णा आई एम राधा मोहिनी मोहन दास फ्रॉम द इंटरनेशनल सोसाइटी फॉर कृष्णा कॉन्सियसनेस वी आर इन श्री श्री राधा राज बिहारी टेम्पल इस्कॉन जूहू आवर टूडेज टॉपिक फॉर डिस्कशन इज वॉट इज कर्मा कर्मा इट इज अ वेरी मच टॉक्ट अबाउट वर्ल्ड इट हैज बीन नाउ एक्सेप्टेड इन द वेस्टर्न वर्ल्ड ऑल्सो बट वेरी फ्यू अंडरस्टैंड द रियल मीनिंग और ट्रू अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द वर्ल्ड कर्मा टू अंडरस्टैंड कर्मा वी शुड अंडरस्टैंड टू इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स अबाउट कर्मा द वन आस्पेक्ट ऑफ कर्मा इज द एक्टिविटीज एंड द सेकेंड आस्पेक्ट ऑफ द कर्मा इज द रिएक्शंस ऑफ द एक्टिविटीज द फ्रूट्स ऑफ द एक्टिविटीज बोथ आर कॉल्ड एज कर्मा ओनली नाउ वी शुड अंडरस्टैंड वॉट karma means by the term activity we find in bhagavad gita as it is by shri prabhupad that there are five important subject matters of the bhagavad gita first is jeeva the living entities who we are second is prakriti where we are now and what type of body we are wearing now so that is called prakriti we are in the prakriti and we are wearing the body made out of the elements of prakriti that is nature and we are influenced by the modes of material nature the third aspect of bhagavad gita the third factor of bhagavad gita is who is the owner of and controller of this jeeva and prakriti he is ishwar the supreme personality of godhead and in the influence of one of the gods energy that is called time the kala is the fourth subject matter of bhagavad gita now the fifth subject matter of bhagavad gita is karma among these five subject matters of bhagavad gita jeeva prakriti ishwar and kal they are eternal but the fifth subject matter of bhagavad gita the karma is not eternal the karma are the activities which a jeeva performs in this material world by the influence of three modes of material nature that is the mode of goodness the mode of passion and the mode of ignorance the jiva wanted to enjoy separately from the supreme lord that's why he has been sent in this material world and we get the material body and we are continuously influenced by the modes of material nature and we are bound in the law of reaction or the law of nature so the living entity to enjoy separately from the supreme lord is here and trying to satisfy its own senses for sense gratification now the activities which a living 
entity is performing with this body in this material world is called karma. This karma can be performed from different parts like we think from mind. So that is karma from mind. We speak from tongue. So that is the karma by tongue. And we perform the activities by this entire body. So that is the action, the karma by the body. Now we are always forced to do some activities. We cannot stay for a moment without doing any activity. We can never be inactive. But because our body is made from the elements of material nature, we are influenced by these elements and we are bound by the laws of nature. So when we perform the activity to satisfy our needs because of the influence of the material nature, that is mode of goodness, mode of passion and mode of ignorance. Sometimes we get desired results, sometimes we get undesired results. But the reactions of all our activities are accumulated. Now those accumulated reactions, that is fruits of the reactions, the karma phala is also termed as karma. So we understood there are two aspects of karma. One is the activity by mind, by words and by the body, the action performed by these three elements. And then there are the reaction of the karma. That is also called karma. Now this activity of karma and the reaction of karma or the calculation of reaction of the karma is very very subtle and very very complicated. Same activity performed by two person at the same time may get different results. The accumulation of the karmic reaction will be different. Now why there is difference in the fruits of action if both the person are doing the same activity? The scripture says the reaction is calculated on the basis of our consciousness while performing that act. We can have some examples also. You can see a doctor with a knife cutting somebody's body part and a killer, a murderer is cutting somebody's body part. Now the action is same. The doctor is also cutting the body part and the killer is also cutting the body part. But their intention, their motive, their consciousness behind this activity is different. Accordingly, they will be getting the reactions. Same way, we can get reactions at different, different levels. Sometimes we perform some activities for satisfying our material needs. Sometimes 
we carry on some activities to fulfill our emotional needs sometimes we carry out same activity to fulfill our intellectual needs sometimes same activity is performed to fulfill our egoistic needs and same activity is performed to please the lord now from the external world perspective the activities performed looks same but the results will be totally different so the reaction of the karma is purely based on the consciousness of the performer at the time of performing that act or karma so in today's discussion we understood that the aspects of karma one is the activity and one is the reaction of the activity the activity karma is forced by the modes of material nature and the reaction of the karma is decided on the basis of the consciousness of the performer of that activity Hare Krishna